How's it going everyone? It's Liam Caston here and we're going to be on episode number two of season one of Orphan Black with this episode being called Instinct and yeah, I'm just really, really interested to see what's going to come up now after a crazy um, first episode. It was just really, really great, you know, getting uh, to know Sarah, Felix, all of them and, um, you know, seeing Sarah just adjust from her previous life to, um, I don't know, I've just, I've just thought of something, I'll get onto that in a minute, but it'll be, it, it was interesting seeing Sarah jump from one life to another and taking on a whole set of new responsibilities, stuff that she didn't even come prepared for, um, like the detective situation, like the fact that she was being, uh, well, there was an interview going on, um, revolving around the identity that she took with, uh, Beth being a part of a shooting situation uh, that happened on my birthday, apparently. So, yeah, someone got rowdy. I I didn't see any commotion at the party, but, yeah, sliding away from those jokes, it was just so interesting. And then we had more uh, lookalikes of Sarah come up at the very end, of one that was German. Uh, one of them was on the birth certificate um, that um, Sarah investigated. And, um, yeah, she... Got killed, so it, yeah, it seems to be that look. Anytime Sarah meets a lookalike, um, and you know the brain starts to wonder, they suddenly die under some poor circumstances. Uh, with um, Liz, it was suicide. Um, the second one, it was a, a bullet to the head. So it'll be very, very interesting to see what comes up about that. But uh, I don't know. I was just thinking, what if Sarah's not the first identity that uh, she took? I don't know, I'm going crazy already. It's only only one episode, but uh, you saw her jumping from uh, one identity to another with this lookalike. I mean, she probably has, she hasn't met a lookalike before, uh, Elizabeth, so. Um, but you never know, It could there could be some memory erasing thing, couldn't there? I don't know. Um, see, nobody knows. So, um, yeah, but it was just a little bit of a crazy tinfoil hat moment that I just had there. But yes, Instinct. Episode number two, I'm really, really enjoying, I, I enjoyed the first episode, and I'm really, really intrigued to see where this goes. So, with that, that said, let's go. Holy shit, it's true. What? It's true. That someone is killing us. They must have followed her from Europe. Jesus They're Killing Christ. us? What? They clones? Oh, no, no, nothing, nothing, okay, nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Did you get the briefcase? Uh... That's wait, so wait, did Beth get, you have an idea? It, she must have. Vic, be cool. Leave ah! Felix alone. Oh, shit. Everyone's raw. It's okay. All right. I'm sorry. My bad. Don't be a Vic. Don't hurt Felix. Like, don't hurt my feelings. Hoping up. Yes. Merlin. Not the same card as... Who the hell are you? Why don't you, why don't you impersonate her and uh, find out? <laughs> Work for Liz. Um. Yeah, it's not just, it's not just, you know, the fact that you can collect someone who looks like you. It's the fact that you're collecting pieces of the puzzle. I have to lose Vic, lose the twin sister weirdness to somewhere safe with my daughter. Yeah, exactly. Is that so much to ask? Because if she's... Yeah. Just, Dead Maybe. still. There's not a chance she can get an easy life with Kira. Detective Arthur Bell. What? Boss, oh, so must have followed me and nicked him. Oh. All right. All right. Let's not go off though, okay? No. Hey, let's no, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Oh, she, she's she's just pissed. Oh shit. Whoa, hey, no, not it's back that. to square one. That's I'm a problem, but <laughs> artwork. It's booze. God knows what else. So I'm going back to Cody's for a while. Ouch. Well, okay. <laughs> she's just like fine with it, but it it gets him out. Yeah, though. That's what you want. At least it's got some breathing space for for Sarah, but. I love all these points, like, they they think that Sarah's got a problem for, uh, and they have, like, they don't know the full picture. <laughs> hey, I think you rock it, okay? Don't shrug. It's 
staging a few great in that. Music. Why would you help? Sorry, vibe session with Felix is just like. <laughs> but he does look good at that. Every missing persons report. Every punch we threw. Reminiscence. He's a gift. Sarah knows that. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Badly. Granted. But in her own way, she is. She's really trying. Come on, Mrs. S. Just get it in your head. Uh-oh. Oh. Sneak, Caught sneak. Yeah. I called her name. I told her to freeze. She didn't. She ran. Disappeared down. You're making me nervous. Good. No, no I'm not. Fears. When did you draw your weapon? I drew when I entered it's the court. Intimidating, court. isn't it? That's when I drew my weapon. And Just loving this, she by the way. There, Rehearsal, there, actual thing. And that's when I heard somebody behind me, and I turned around, when I fired twice. You have to nail it, though. That's the thing. You have to nail the entire story. But to be sure, I'm gonna hang on to that money until you're cleared. Giraffe. How's that? Yeah, just you know, just have to take your loss there. But it was really good though how she, you know, you know, practiced and practiced. Uh, Carlsboro Hotel, room three hundred three. Well, go get the briefcase before they do. Before I'll they. Call back at midnight. They. What's in? Hydra. Wait, what? <laughs> who is that? And who are they? See, I'm getting on the question. I'm wrong. Oh, oh the I killers, know. I guess. <laughs> I had a feeling it was this song. I just didn't know because, yeah, it was German, so. I need to get in more of the German culture. Oh, damn. Someone was a little messy. You think being an adult. <laughs> Truth. Oh, is this like a voodoo? Wait, what? Is this like a voodoo doll or something? Seems it. I don't know. I'm getting voodoo doll vibes. Cat is not available. We had a noise complaint, which led to a security check. Ma'am, your room was trashed. Ah. Uh, rock and roll. Rock and roll? The sink is broken. What the heck is wrong with you? Hey, rock and roll involves sinks being broken. Have you not? Sink, mirror, cool. three pillows. Oh, da oh damn. Six, oh. $6,437.11, yes. Yeah. Wow. You could, you've done this before, Sarah. It's been a heck of a Just party. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Not very good with small talk, but neither am I. There we go. It appears to be in order. We're very sorry about this. <clears throat> Are you enjoying the city? It's great. It's killing me. <laughs> That's the best freaking pun ever. <laughs> Man, I just love that. No, that's not how you open a briefcase. Danielle Danielle. Let me guess. Someone else that looks like her. And they took in her blood sample. That's why they Cut. guess. Uh huh, yeah, here we go. Austria. All around the world. Tanya? Look, Beth said to say I have the briefcase. Do you want me to bring it to you? No. Ooh, this, is this mystery regarding the the briefcase, the blood vials, um, the other versions of Sarah. Oh, it's all really, really juicy. I'm sorry, she killed herself. No, 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 she wouldn't do that. That's impossible. Oh, I'm sorry, well, that's I saw possible. Her do it. Oh, I you can explain. Put the knife okay. down. Put the Sarah. knife down. I don't care who you are. Oh, why, Lord? Why me? Shh. I 
never wanted any part of this do I wear a huge kick me sign on my back. Please That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. They want to live their lives in, in normality. Get me another appointment, okay? Tell her She's it's determined. an emergency you're worried That's about. That's the thing. She's determined to live this to get her money. And what are you going to say to her to change her mind? I'll figure something out. I'm sorry. My opinion is you're not ready for duty. My opinion is though. it's bullshit. I'm making. Yeah, that's where you're wrong. You have constantly tested me with your personal appeals for prescriptions. Shh. My bad. This is all going round to the so drug things that to the board Paul that I was worried about. Civilian after mixing up all your overlapping scripts. Oh. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Or am I making? Better than beat the shit out of her. Um, All right, if everybody's here, at least, at least she she came up again. with a good enough you know convenes reason to you turn shooting October seventh. The this um, that doctor's Take your name and rank opinion. For the record. This is me excited. Come on, Art. Give me a <laughs> He's just here. like that emotionless yeah? guy, isn't he? Like grounded, hard like hard because he's your favorite thing about me. <laughs> Look. uh... Paul doesn't know that I took that money out of our account. So just let me put it back before he finds out, yeah? Come on. I'll hang on to it till you're reinstated. That's the deal. <laughs> there was no deal. It was just My skin just breaks out every time I leave the downtown. Yeah? Yeah? Right there. Look. Acne. I still think you're, you're, you're acne. attractive, okay? Am I blushing? <laughs> You, you look at it's right. right there, tiny little suburban stress sets emerging in direct proximity to bad architecture. <laughs> I hate I the outdoors. Oh really? shit, okay. Yeah, the knife and now the gun. What's the. You're gonna shoot me while your kids are sleeping. You wake them or shoot them? You might have face? a silence yes, that. Well, I've never known a blood relation, but being your twin certainly sucks. You really have no idea, do you? This is a. Hey. Who? I'm Kasima. Kasima. We talked on the phone. How many of us are there? Damn clothes. Damn bloody clothes. <laughs> Not a twin at all. No, 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 no. Oh, this is getting even, even more spicier. Interesting. And the further you go into these episodes, the more you've got a lot of intrigue going on with, especially at the end of the last episode, you were thinking, well, okay, like literally, what the hell is going on? I mean, the most likely odd uh, thing is that it's clones, but you never know. It could be robots. It could be doppelgangers from multiple... I'm, I'm just assuming it because uh, they come from all around the world... And there's multiple versions of them. Like, I, I don't know if it's anything else. And it would make sense with their appearance, with everything going on, that it would be clones. So, um, yeah, damn clones, like I said. But, um, you know, it, it's just been a very, very interesting journey so far. Especially how that kind of mystery deepened in this episode. Especially with, um, you know... N the fact that Sarah had to handle, like, a lot more on her plate. I think she did technically have to handle a lot more on her plate this episode than she did last episode. I mean, yeah, she was coming to terms with, you know, how uh, do we explain this to, um, you know, the public, the uh, you know, Elizabeth's body. How do we explain that? And, you know, the fact that she had a first encounter with someone who looked exactly like her. But... She had to handle multiple versions of herself, uh, not just Katia, with, uh, like, how do we deal with her, uh, as well as adopting, you know, who she was briefly, uh, so she could get to her things, her briefcase, and find out more about her. Like, there's, a, like, it was, there was several instances, I guess, of Sarah's in this episode. I mean, some appeared on screen, so, some in the briefcase, and had that, like, blood vial thing. So I'm wondering what that's all about. But I'm really, really intrigued to see how this all comes together and why Sarah is so special in terms of, like, having multiple versions of herself. Like, 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 is that, are you sure you can do that with Felix as well? Like, what, like, what is so special? We'll just have to wait and see. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting, though, because uh, there's this level of mystique about this show and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. So I'm in for this journey, but... 
very, very mysterious, very interesting stuff. But yeah, that was really, really good stuff. Um, especially with that other doppelganger at the end. Like, I'm interested to see how she differs. I, I love these, like, different, like, how we're able to differentiate them, like, all, like, you'd think with, like, uh, like, literally hundreds. I, that might be literally, um, like, with hundreds of people that look exactly like Sarah, that, there is that odd chance that, you know, well, I guess the closest we have is Sarah and Bev. I mean, they look kind of similar. Um, ish, yeah, ish. But, um, yeah, you you were bound to run the risk of someone looking really, really exactly like you. Whereas Katia had, like, uh, different hair going on. Uh, the person at the very end with the glasses and, the, with the, I think, braided hair. Um, yeah, they do look different, but it's great to, you know, differentiate them, because it looks like there's going to be a whole load of more, and it's going to be like a crisis on Infinite Sarahs, and uh, that would, that, yeah, that pretty, pretty devastating stuff, but that, like I said, this mystique about what's the deal with, Clo with, well, I'm using that term loosely, of course, it's not concrete yet, but what's the deal with duplicating Sarah, um, you know, a bunch of times, and, you know, why are they after, like, whoever's after, whoever got rid of Katia, uh, I assume is after the, you know, the briefcase that Katia had. Um, so she must have been, I don't know if she was, like, in on this conspiracy uh, with the whole uh, du uh, duplicate thing deeper than anyone else. Because we know that Beth was, um, that Beth was, in on this, because she, you know, there's that assumption she killed herself, she couldn't handle this shit, and a lot of, like, this was, you know, tr uh, you know, haunting her, um, especially with the kind of, um, thing that, you know, Sarah had to handle Katya being shot in the head, like, you know, that kind of thing, uh, with different, uh, duplicates, they might behave differently, so she might not have handled it, whereas Sarah could, um, but, um, I forgot what I was going to say there. But, oh yeah, about how that, how deep they are. Yeah, Beth obvi was obviously deep in, uh, this hole. Well, she wasn't, I'm not sure if she was as deep as Kadia, but she was involved definitely with the fact that she had multiple, um, birth certificates of the, her doppelgangers, uh, with her. So, uh, she obviously knew about the whole situation as well as the fact that they, uh, had Beth as their little contact on their contact guy so they could like rely uh, information to Beth whereas they don't know heck about Sarah so um, it will be very very fun stuff to you know delve further into that mystery and I'm really really uh, up for it. Um, the scenes as well was pretty pretty good stuff especially where Felix and Mrs. S had that little confrontation about Sarah and you know him having to reveal the truth that Sarah didn't die um and you could see the kind of disdain, like her disdain approach uh, for Sarah, you know, Mrs. S when she was, when they were having that little uh, conversation. But I thought it was a really, really great scene to, you know, get some information about, you know, um, you know, Kira, especially with Kira as well, because she's, she's obviously a big part of this, um, especially with Beth's, uh, with Sarah's, Beth, with Sarah's, um, you know, objective to, get a new start with Kira, with Felix, and, you know, have a great time, you know, with with lots of money as well, so, um, yeah, it's great that we finally, you know, delve in, uh, dealt into that area, especially, uh, as well, another scene that I really loved is, you know, um, Sarah continuing the Beth facade, and how she, you know, pretty much nailed it, especially when she was going over from art about the whole uh, situation regarding the shooting that Beth was involved in. Uh, and I just loved how, you know, there was that, you know, the cut to present, then flashback, present flashback. That that scene was really, really well done. Um, and I thought it was really, really neat. Uh, so, you know, you had one moment, you had Beth, like, focusing so... Uh, you had Sarah as Beth focusing so hard into the files to, you know, get it right. And then, you know, the next moment you saw Sarah just nailing it. So, brilliant stuff. Because, of course, that was a lingering issue in the first episode where she was like, 
because she took on something that was a bit bigger for her, but she's handling it well. And another thing where she handled it well was the um, pills thing uh, when she was, you know, when she was going on with that therapist, you know, that person who was like, can't do, you're not, you're not fit for work. Um, of course, that was helped with um, her husband, Paul, uh, when, you know, he expressed his concerns about um, her hit back on the drugs again. And um, she took that to her advantage. She, she's taken a lot of things for, for Paul for, for her advantage, the sex, um, the drug situation, and um, as well as the fact that he decided, I can't deal with this, I'm going away. Because you even heard a response, she was like, okay. So that was less heat on her shoulders, uh, which would, was promising for her. Um, but yeah, I've, I'm really enjoying this show so far. It's been really, really great from Felix's side as well. It's just been really, really great to see, especially with how he was dealing with Vic, like, annoyed, especially with the fact that he know that... Uh, Felix is the only one who knows about uh, about the whole uh, plan like Sarah isn't dead but they have to play it off uh, close call though with Sarah you know nearly bumping into Vic there Ooh, that would have been awkward although then again he was drunk so he could that could have gone down to oh I'm just seeing things like hallucinating or whatever um, seeing things when you're drunk oh you were drunk you were way way out of it so could have taken that to your advantage, but Sarah probably didn't know, so, yeah. And you don't want that to, you know, spook around and cause commotion and all that shit, especially with Vic, because Vic seems to be that dramatic guy, but he has a selfish past uh, accordingly to what Felix and Sarah have expressed, so, yeah. Um, but no, it was just a really, really great episode, especially, like I said, the mystique behind uh, the doppelgangers of Sarah was really great, especially, as, as well as the interactions with her doppelgangers as well, like, especially with uh, Alison, wasn't it? He was all stabby stab, well, all fretty fretty, actually, because at first she had the knife, then she had the gun, so the, the way they behave is really, really neat to see. Um, it's not just appearance that dissociates one from another, it's um, their behaviour, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this show. It's pretty, pretty fun stuff, and uh, I can't wait to, you know, get my hands dirty more on this uh, mystery. Uh, I'm in Sarah's shoes right now, except if there were many more people like me, I think that would be the end of the world. I think one Liam Caddison is, you know, good enough. But yes, that was Oven Black, episode number two, Instinct. Really, really good stuff, and, you know, really deepening my um, admiration for the show. It's really, really doing a good job at the minute. And um, on to the next episode, which will be episode three, which should be coming out. I don't know. Why am I saying that? I haven't even created, uh, in my perspective, I haven't even created a schedule list yet. So calm down, Liam. But it will be out probably within a couple of days or something for you guys. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!